All right. Here we learn uh, two kinds of energy. Okay, two kinds of energy. One is potential energy, potential energy. Another kind is kinetic energy. So now, potential energy also has two types. Yeah, the first one is called gravitational potential energy. And the next one is elastic potential energy. Both of these are potential energy. Uh, don't always think that potential energy always relate to height. Yeah, don't always relate to, uh, we say, height. Yeah, potential, potential energy is not just about height. Uh, it also uh, depends on the shape and state of the object. Okay, go back to definition of potential energy. What is potential energy? Potential energy is energy stored in a body or system because of its position. Uh, this position, uh, this, uh, this position is about height. Okay, it's about height. Um, and then shape and state. Uh, shape and state is about uh, stretch or compress. Uh, okay, position about height, shape and state. The shape of it, you know, you think about shape, uh, think like a sponge or a spring. Uh, is that's about shape, state? Yeah, is it being compressed or is it being stretched? Uh, that's about shape and sh shape and state. It's about stretch or compressed. Okay, so here, so from here, you can see two kinds of uh, potential energy. One is gravitational. One is elastic. Okay, so gravitational potential energy is about height. Okay, it's the energy stored in the body or system just because of the position or about height. Uh, so this is the key. Uh, look at here. This is the key. It's the height of it. Okay, the height. Uh, so potential gravitational potential energy. Uh, sometimes we write as U G. Uh, U G. And then elastic potential energy we write as U E. Uh, because just because we want to differentiate them. Uh, but sometimes we also write as uh, pot gravitational potential energy we write as P E. Yeah. Uh, or this one P E E. Uh, okay. Uh, but I like U better, yeah? I like the symbol U better. Yeah? Potential energy. Okay, so uh, uh, for kinetic energy, we sometimes you write as KE. Uh, but I, I like the symbol K better. Okay, so uh, gravitational potential energy is about height. Okay, so it relates to mass. You must have mass, gravity. G is gravity and H is about height. Uh, so height... Uh, so normally for height, we always need to set first. We need to set a level to become zero height. The level can be in any position. Yeah, you want the height from the center of Earth, or you want the height from um, from Earth. Normally, this height is from Earth surface. Okay, but uh, this height normally we need to set first. You need to set this height from what level? Yeah, you uh, normally we set from the ground height as zero. Okay. But if you want, let's say I want to set this height become zero, also can, also can. Uh, normally, when we talk about energy, uh, uh, or we can say uh, the conservation of energy, we always comparing between two position, and there is a change of uh, type of energy, maybe between elast uh, uh, gravitational potential energy to kinetic energy. So we uh, normally we need to set a certain height to become zero height. So the height can be zero at any point, at any point. Uh, to talk about setting of height, yeah, which height to set as zero, uh, we will talk about this more, uh, talk more about this uh, setting of the height zero at my problem video. So please look up my problem video about setting height equal to zero at what point. All right, so I'm not going to talk about this uh, first. Okay, I'll leave it to later. So gravitational potential energy must relate to uh, height or uh, position okay so it must have height and then elastic potential energy is the uh, energy stored in elastic okay uh, hold on a second yeah it, it is the uh, energy stored in elastic materials as a result of the stretching or compressing 
uh, if you stretch a stretch an object, uh, let's say a spring. Let's say, uh, for example, elastic material like spring. We have a spring here, or maybe a sponge, okay, or a spring, okay. Spring can be stretched or compressed. Uh, sometimes we put uh, stretching as extension, uh, extension and compression. Uh, so, uh, so when you extend the spring or you compress the spring, uh, you actually storing elastic potential energy inside the spring. Okay, the formula is uh, just now the gravitational potential energy is mgh. About the elastic potential energy, it is half kx square. Uh, half kx square. So x is actually the uh, compression or extension. Uh, Alright, so uh, how much it compressed from the equilibrium position? So x uh, actually equal to zero at the equilibrium. Uh, we have an equilibrium position. Yeah, equilibrium position. So if the if the spring is longer than the equilibrium position, means it is being stretched. When the spring is being compressed from the equilibrium position, uh, then it's called compression. Okay, so x, uh, it must have the x, uh, as you can see here, x square, uh, it must have the x. Uh, so when you have the extension or compression, then you have, you are storing elastic potential energy inside the elastic material, like spring. Uh, so actually, elastic potential energy can have two formula. You can either write as, um, uh, elastic potential energy can write as half kx square, or you also can write it as, uh, half uh, fx uh, half fx because we know that uh, f equal to kx uh, this is about Hooke's law uh, this is about Hooke's law okay uh, you want to know about k k is called the spring constant okay or force constant uh, yeah uh, yeah sometimes it's called spring constant if you use uh, we using the spring okay so, uh, if you substitute the formula uh, kx into here, kx you substitute with f into this formula kx here, and then you get half fx. Uh, so, uh, actually, if you look, you draw a, draw a diagram, yeah, draw a diagram uh, hook about Hooke's law, okay, about Hooke's law, you know, about the Hooke's law, uh, force and extension you get is directly proportional uh, because the formula f equal to kx isn't it uh, the gradient of it is k yeah k uh, which is uh, f over x uh, so the area under the graph okay maybe i need to draw here uh, yeah and then the area under the graph uh, is half kx uh, half half x uh, so the area under the graph is the elastic potential energy uh, the area under fx graph is the uh, elastic potential energy. Maybe it's half fx or half, you see, it's uh, the, you know, uh, look, just, uh, this is a triangle, isn't it? That's why it's half fx, uh, triangle area, or half kx square. Uh, so the area under the graph is called the, uh, so this is the uh, area, the, uh, you know, area, this is the area. Uh, for k is the gradient uh, k is the gradient force constant uh, the k has the unit uh, k has the unit uh, you know newton per meter uh, k has the unit newton per meter because force over extension uh, newton per meter uh, k is the gradient force constant we call it okay and the area under fx graph Okay, force extension graph. Okay, I can write like this. Uh, this is the force and this is the extension. Uh, so when half fx, this area under the graph is the elastic potential energy. Uh, so the area under fx graph is the elastic potential energy. All right. Uh, okay. So I can write this. Uh, so this formula can be half kx square or half force time extension half fx okay. so when you have when you have height you have gravitational potential energy 
when you have extension or compression x uh, you have the elastic potential energy now if the object has the velocity velocity means it has kinetic energy because kinetic energy is about energy of a body due to the motion uh, motion is about the velocity so if the object is moving has motion is moving has velocity uh, then it have kinetic energy uh, half mv square uh, kinetic energy so these are the types of energy okay when you have height when you have height h uh, then you have gravitational potential energy when you have extension or compression x uh, then you have elastic potential energy when you have velocity v v motion velocity v uh, v then you have kinetic energy okay so that's all for the type of energy